behalf of the Deputy uh, Administrator, Colonel Pam Melroy, uh, on behalf of our entire workforce uh, at NASA, which is a group of wizards, they make uh, the impossible possible. As you have seen uh, in some of the extraordinary things that have happened just in the last year. On behalf of all of these, I want to welcome you, Mr. Prime Minister, here, your delegation. Uh, it's an honor to have you, the Foreign Minister, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, it's also our JAXA President, Yamakawa, and it's great to have our astronauts, Aki and Ann. So thank you all. And of course, uh, Jax's Koichi Wakata, a very experienced astronaut, is on the International Space Station as we speak. And he has flown with us five times already. Today we are once again reaffirming that Japan and the U.S. explore openly, explore peacefully, and explore together. And this framework that will be signed by the Secretary of State and the Foreign Minister, uh, this framework deepens our partnership. Now, the U.S.-Japan Space Cooperation has entered a new era uh, with the Artemis project. And many projects, including lunar activities, are already in the works by Japanese and U.S. astronauts. But I strongly hope that, that this agreement will robustly promote our space cooperation even further and also further expand the fields of cooperation under the Japan-U.S. alliance, which has become stronger than ever under the leadership of President Biden, Vice President Harris, and myself. Our bilateral partnership is among the strongest in the world in part because we're always adapting it to meet the evolving challenges of our time. And that's the case on everything from uh, advancing security and stability in the Indo-Pacific to bolstering our economic and energy security to defending the rights at the core of the United Nations Charter. We're also expanding the horizons of our partnership in a very literal way through space cooperation. And here I also want to thank Vice President Harris for her leadership as chair of the National Space Council. For decades now, uh, Japan and the United States have worked together to extend humanity's reach in space. We've long collaborated to support the International Space Station. Uh, we were two of the first signatories of the Artemis Accord, as the Prime Minister referred to. We're partners in the Artemis program, which will return astronauts to the lunar surface, including the first woman and the first person of color. Um, we've uh, just signed a new arrangement to support the Lunar Gateway, which will prepare for future missions to Mars. Uh, the framework agreement that we're about to sign uh, will take our cooperation to new heights. It will strengthen our partnership in areas like research on space technology and transportation, robotic lunar surface missions, climate-related missions, and our shared ambition to see a Japanese astronaut on the lunar surface. In the last century, the space race electrified the world, seizing the imaginations of millions of people awed by the men and women who dare to go into the unknown. It inspired generations of scientists, researchers, innovators, dreamers. And it paved the way for countless technological advances in computers, satellites, GPS, camera lenses, medical equipment, and so much more. And these advances have improved the daily lives of people across the planet. 